the lemon juice tames the bitterness of the. Absolutely. You know what else does? What? Vodka. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing vodka. Welcome to Becoming Virtuosa, the podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Susan Crockett. You are listening to episode number 67 Miracle Food Broccoli Shots and Sulforaphane. Yes, back by popular demand, please join me with my very special guest, board certified internal medicine physician, Dr. Reed Malloy. We share a fun conversation about transforming your health through, yep, broccoli. Welcome to Becoming Virtuosa, the podcast that encourages you to become your best virtuosa self. Each week, Dr. Susan Crockett goes where the scalpel can't reach, exploring conversations about how to be, heal, love, give, grow, pray, and attune. For the first time ever, she's bringing the personal one-on-one teaching that she shares with individual patients to you on this broader platform, a weekly source of inspiration and encouragement designed to empower you. By evolving ourselves as individuals, we influence and transform the world around us. Please help me welcome board-certified OBGYN specializing in minimally invasive GYN surgery, internationally in the top 1% of all GYN robotic surgeons, a certified life coach, and U.S. News top doctor, your host, Susan A. Crockett, MD. Welcome back to the Dr. Crockett Show, or welcome to the Dr. Crockett Show, I should say. We got a fun episode for you today. This is our repeat guest by, by popular demand, Dr. Malloy. Thank you for coming back again. My honor to be here. This is fun. We're doing broccoli shots. And you're going, what? Mm. What kind of shots are those? Healthy. Healthy shots. So broccoli is one of the miracle foods that we talked about on our last episode. Yes. The Eat the Rainbow episode. Yes. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it because we had a lot of fun shopping in the grocery store. And this guy is just an encyclopedia of knowledge about chemistry and food. Today, we're going to talk about a specific substance found in broccoli and broccoli sprouts in particular called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane? Sulforaphane. We're going to put that down line. Yeah, sulforaphane. <laughs> and so when we chew a cruciferous vegetable or we cut it, chop it, whatever, it activates an enzyme in the vegetable that converts the precursor of sulforaphane, which is glucoraphanin, over to sulforaphane. Okay. And then sulforaphane does its magic. Well, what is that magic? Why is this so good for us? Yeah, I mean, it's an incredible molecule. And a lot of this research was done at John Hopkins. And sulforaphane has an impact on hundreds of different genes and their expression. And so when we ingest sulforaphane, it distributes throughout the body Mm -hmm. and it turns off inflammatory pathways in the body. And it also turns on antioxidant pathways Mm -hmm. Oh, and, double help, right? Yeah, double benefit. And then on top of that, it activates processes in the body that help to detoxify our body, particularly uh, from that. things like benzene, acrolein, and these are compounds found in cigarette smoke, super high quantity. So if you're a smoker, yeah, you really, really, really need you're to gonna, be getting your cruciferous you're vegetables. Yep. Double down on broccoli. Yeah, absolutely, but all of us can benefit from it. So, and then there's reduction in cardiovascular risk. We know it improves uh, the lipid profile, decreases triglycerides, and decreases uh, fasting blood sugar. Awesome. Yeah. Those are all awesome things. So we should be doing a broccoli shot a day, basically. Man, I tell you, that that would be ideal. Well, uh, today we're going to show you how to grow your own broccoli sprouts and then how to make a, your own broccoli shot out of them. So we're going to start with Our broccoli seeds, you can get these on Amazon, or where did you get yours? I got them on Amazon, and, you know, there is something to be said about the reviews on different websites and Mm -hmm. so forth. I mean, when I was looking for a good brand, it was amazing at how many people were saying, don't use brand dot, dot, dot. These are not broccoli Broccoli. seeds. It's some type of other sprout. So, or, yeah, I tried this brand, and only a third of the seeds sprouted, and so... I've had a lot of luck with this particular brand, Food to Live. It's performed really well. Cool. And so the next thing you need is a sprouting jar. So here's an example of a sprouting jar without any seeds in it. So you want a jar that's a, this one's a basic mason jar, quart-sized. 
And it's got a strainer for the lid, and then you just need a little angle for it to sit on so it drains. And then what you end up doing is you put your seeds in it. So this is a set that I started a couple days ago. I soaked them overnight. They're just starting to sprout. So when you, uh, I've got these that are sunflowers because I like sunflower sprouts. They're a little sweeter for putting on your salads or sandwich. And then these are my broccoli sprouts. They're just starting to sprout up. Yeah, I mean, if you just take a couple of tablespoons of the broccoli sprouts, put them in there. I like to soak mine overnight for 12 hours. And then you <clears throat> empty the water out and then you just add water and empty it out and just let it sit. And then I'll do that again at the end of the day. So, so a twice couple, a couple, day. couple of rinses yeah. a day. And, and if you don't do that, like Starley found out, <laughs> they yeah. get moldy. Yeah, they get moldy. And, <laughs> yes, and but you know, within within four days, you're you're gonna have a mason jar yeah. just absolutely packed with uh, broccoli sprouts. Look at that. And the reason we're pushing broccoli sprouts is because <laughs> Broccoli sprouts have a <laughs> hundredfold as much glucoraphanin, which is going to be converted over to sulforaphane. Not 100%, but it, it's just loaded with a hundredfold more than your mature broccoli plant. That's a lot more than the mature plant. And so yeah. we're doing a couple of things to bring that out. One is we're going to make a four-ingredient broccoli uh, shot. So we're going to use a little bit of warm water, and we don't want our Broccoli sprouts really hot because that would yeah. kill it. But yeah, um, you can give it a little bit of warmth, but um, you definitely don't want to heat up your sprouts above six degrees Celsius. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of warm water, a cup and a half to a cup and a half of sprouts. I'm making a triple recipe because we are sharing with friends today. The shooting crew wanted to try some. So and I mean, you know, while we're talking about this, I, you know, I, I think the. The person who's probably done the best video out there that I can find on the internet is Rhonda Patrick. Okay, a lot of people have heard of Rhonda. Go check out her YouTube channel. She does an incredible video on sulforaphane, probably better than yeah. anybody else. We'll there. have to link that in the notes below. Yeah, she's, she's incredible. We can do that. So I'm juicing three lemons. So since I'm tri tripling the recipe, so the main recipe is half a cup of water, half a cup of broccoli sprouts, and then... Juice of one lemon and a little dash of sea salt. Okay, so I'm going to tell you people what's wrong with broccoli sprouts. Uh, what's wrong with broccoli sprouts is that they, they can be a little bitter. And so what Dr. Crockett's doing here is she's taming that bitterness with her lemon. Yeah. And, you know, to make this palatable is really the secret. The lemon juice tames the bitterness of the... Absolutely. You know what else does? What? Vodka. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing vodka. <laughs> We're not doing vodka shots yet. Um, <laughs> it's still early in the still, day. It's still no, I'm just early. kidding. We're not yeah. advocating you know, alcohol. Yeah, doctors can't be promoting alcohol. <laughs> no, please. there's nothing good in alcohol. So, you know, this sulforaphane molecule does all of these incredible magical things in our body. And the, the question is, is, is how much? And I don't think we really know uh, how much is ideal, but I can share with you guys some findings in pilot studies and so forth. We know that if a woman consumes one serving of a cruciferous vegetable daily, it's going to reduce her breast cancer risk by 40 to 50%. That's a lot. You know, mean, on the other hand, the alcohol, like vodka, yeah, increases it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, there's no safe dose of alcohol, unfortunately. So, you know, for drinkers out there, you do have more risk of dementia and cancer. And that's a, you know, I'm not saying that sulforaphane is going to mask the uh, deleterious effects of alcohol, but if you are a smoker, you are a drinker, you definitely want to be eating healthy. Yeah. So we're going to mix this up in the blender. We're just going to put it on. Looks long. amazing. Yeah. All right. So here is our shot. Yeah. For men out there, it, it's important to understand there is a very, very powerful correlation between Cruciferous vegetable intake and prostate cancer. We know that men that are consuming a serving of cruciferous vegetables daily are going to probably reduce the risk of prostate cancer by 50%. Men that have had prostate cancer and they have what we call a chemical recurrence, it means we can still detect the PSA level. And that PSA level is going to creep up in an exponential fashion over time. We know that when men are given 65 milligrams of uh, sulforaphane daily, it reduces the doubling rate of the PSA by 86%. So there's a lot of guys out there that have had a prostatectomy, had radiation therapy, 
maybe have a high Gleason score and aggressive prostate cancer, those are the guys who really, really need to be serious about this. So cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Bottoms up. Wow. Delicious, right? That's delicious. That's not bad. For broccoli. (laughs) Wow. A very tangy flavor. Yeah. Mixture, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little salty. Yeah, a little salty. Yeah. Yeah. It's strong. But it's powerful. Yeah. Yeah, it it really is. (laughs) So go eat your broccoli and grow your broccoli sprouts and make some broccoli shots and get your sulforaphane in. Thanks yeah. for joining us today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, I mean, it's not just broccoli, of course, guys. It's just all of those cruciferous vegetables out there. So focus on those and you'll be glad you did. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us today, Dr. Malone. You want to tell everybody where they can find you? You can find me at optimumhealth.doc.com or you can reach me at D-R-M-I-L-O-Y, Dr. Malloy at gmail.com. And as always, you can find me at drcrockett.com. That's drcrockett.com. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for listening to this episode of Becoming Virtuosa. To learn more, come visit us at drcrockett.com. That's drcrockett with two T's dot com. Or find us on YouTube for The Dr. Crockett Show. If you found this episode helpful or think it might help someone else, Please like, subscribe, and share. This is how we grow together. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Love always, Sue.